Hi guys, I'm Leanne. Welcome to my channel. So if you've seen my first video, you know that I enjoy makeup but I haven't used it a ton. And there's a bunch of different like types of makeup that I haven't used. So like brow products, I haven't used pomade, things like that. So I thought it could be fun if I did a full face using types of makeup that I've never used before. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, to start off, I'm going to be using Maybelline Master Prime uh, Primer. It's a colored primer, it's tinted green. I've never used colored primer before, but my skin is really sensitive and it tends to get red really easily, so I figured a green primer to cancel out the red would probably do me some good. I've never tried it before though, so. I mean, I don't really see a difference. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to worry about that, I'm just going to keep going. So next up is foundation. I'm using this Maybelline Dream Cushion foundation. I've always wanted to try like a cushion foundation, but it's really hard to find them in darker colors. They're all like, or at least all the ones I've seen are pretty light. Oh, it has a little mirror in it. Oh, that's cute. So far, unsurprisingly, um, it is lighter than my actual skin tone. It's not too bad, I think, but it's definitely not a match. Um, it's also not very full coverage, but hopefully, um, hopefully the concealer that I picked up will help with the coverage at least. I look so white. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Not off to a great start. Um, I'm just gonna keep going so that hopefully I can add powder to help in some way. God. Um, so next up I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm using this Revlon Photo Ready Concealer, which is like, uh, it's in like a tube, like lipstick. It's like, oh, stick, that's what I'm thinking of. It's like stick concealer, which is very thick, so it should help with coverage at least. I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and blend all of that out. So the good news is that definitely helped with coverage. Um, my eye bags are a lot lighter now and I have a couple of like blemishes that are definitely more blended in. The bad news is that the foundation is so light that the concealer isn't really much lighter than it, so it didn't really do a whole lot in terms of highlighting. So I thought I'd picked up a um, high, not highlighter, a contour, like a cream contour thing, but apparently not. I can't find it anywhere, so I guess I didn't actually do that. Sorry. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. So now I'm having a little bit of an issue because I have a couple of cream products. I have a cream um, blush and a cream highlighter. And I know you're not supposed to use cream on top of powder, but I also don't know how well they're going to show up if I put powder on top of them. 
I'm just going to do the powder first and then go in with this on top and hope that that works out. So in terms of powder, I mean powder is powder, how many types are there, you know? So I'm just going to use my Maybelline Fit Me powder, loose finishing powder, in medium, um, which will hopefully add some color back to my face because this is not, this is not going to do it for me. So, so far, nothing good is happening. Um, I had some dry patches on my nose that the um, foundation was picking up on. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna just like zoom you in a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so I've got some dry patches on my nose that the foundation was picking up and the powder just made it that much worse. <laughs> Um, there's also like, um, the color is just so far off. <laughs> oh, I look so washed out and I hate it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you guys are watch- is anyone even still watching? Because I don't know if I would be. This is just a mess and a half. Look at my arm compared to my face. Look how washed out I look. Before I go any further, I'm going to put on some bronzer to try and get some color back. I'm using this um, Annabelle Biggie bronzer, which I picked up because my ride or die, which is the Milani, um, a Milani bronzer I've been using, shattered. And so I figured I'd try a different one. Um, but I didn't realize when I picked it up how shimmery it was, so I don't know if I'm going to end up liking it. Um, but I guess there's only- oh, that's really pigmented. Ooh. I'm actually kind of sad today. And I was really hoping that like playing around with makeup would cheer me up a little bit, but uh, so far it's not looking good. Um, I'm just gonna, at this point, I'm just gonna keep going and hope that somehow, somewhere along the line, something will go right. So I'm taking this Revlon uh, Insta Blush Stick Blush, and I'm just gonna, and it's completely dried up. Excellent. Nothing in this video is going right. Okay, listen. I need at least one thing to work, so... <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and grab my Milani powder blush in Blossom Time Rose and I'm going to use that because I I, I need something to go right. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm also just going to carry this over the bridge of my nose. forgot how washed out I looked and looked up and saw that and okay I'm going to try and hurry this up because I don't I don't want to look at myself anymore also because something just came up and I might have to go soon so let's wrap this up um I don't even know what to do next anymore all right so I'm going to grab this L'Oreal infallible galaxy stick in cosmic pink goodness <gasps> oh, oh, oh that's not what i expected Holy shit. okay if i would had known it was like this bright i would have put it on under the powder oh my goodness gracious holy guacamole
So the good news is that this is blinding. Like, oh my goodness. Um, the less good news is that it's a bit darker than I would have preferred, and it's also taking off all the makeup underneath it. I already can't wait to take this makeup off. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible and just try and wrap this up. Um, I'm going to go in with my brows now, and I'm going to be using a brow pomade for the first time in my life, so it's probably going to look like real messy. Like to give you an idea of how first time this is, I'm still taking this out of the package. It's my first time using, to be fair, it's my first time using most of these products. Uh, but just this one I'm really worried about. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, CoverGirl. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible and just try and wrap this up. Um, I'm going to go in with my brows now and I'm going to be using a brow pomade for the first time in my life so it's probably going to look like real messy like to give you an idea of how first time this is I'm still taking this out of the package it's my first time using to be fair it's just my first time using most of these products uh, but just this one I'm really worried about <laughs> So this is the uh, CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Sculpt and Set Pomade. So, so here's the pot, and I believe, yep, yeah, the handle is a little brush. So I'm just gonna. for it, I guess. Um, let me grab a little hand mirror. Um, so I'm gonna start at the tail, so that I use up most of the product there. Can you see anything? Should I zoom you in? Do you want to be zoomed in again? Probably not. Then you're going to see, like, how awful my skin looks right now. I'm gonna do this anyway. <laughs> um, I'll just slouch. I'll just slouch. Um, mm. In all fairness, I've probably done this like completely wrong. I'm just gonna go in with the next brow. say like that's as good as it's going to get but then I looked at my um, reflection and it actually isn't that bad from a distance as I thought it is when it was like this close let me zoom you back out no all right that's actually not that bad I actually kind of like that it took way too long to be worth it but I do like how it came out so I'm going to go in with this Essence Make Me Brow Tinted Brow Gel. I don't usually use tinted brow gel. Well, I don't usually use most of any of these products. I usually go like really light with my eyebrows just because they're already pretty full. And I'm, I've got some minor trauma <laughs> about having Okay, so when I did my um, high school graduation pictures, 
um, a bunch of friends and I decided to um, get a makeup artist. So the same makeup artist did all of our makeup. Um, all of my friends got their eyebrows done before the graduation photo so that all of their brows were like tweezed and everything but I I don't think I'd ever done my eyebrows before so I didn't tweeze my eyebrows and I guess my eyebrows were maybe like messy or something anyway the makeup artist tried to do my eyebrows and she made them like way too full so now in my graduation photo, I've got eyebrows to like this big. Um, so now I go really light when I do eyebrow stuff. Um, that being said, I don't hate how this looks. I might do this again when I have more time. I can like try and do it properly. Maybe watch a couple of tutorials first. Either way, I don't have a ton of time. So let's keep going. Um, another product that I'm just taking out of its package. So next up I'm going to do my eyes and I'm starting with an eye primer. Usually when I do eye makeup I just like this way. I just use concealer. Um, but this time I'm going to try using a primer on my eyelids to see if that makes that big of a difference. I don't know. not actually supposed to set primer like eye primer um, which is a really weird thought to me but okay so next for eyeshadow I'm going to my main the thing that I haven't tried is this um, LA colors pigment powder so loose eyeshadow pigments um, but I don't want to just have bright yellow eyelids so I'm also going to be grabbing this Wet n Wild All Natural palette. I'm going to keep the eye look like really simple. I'm just going to grab this dark brown color, bring it through my crease. Okay, don't like that. Maybe I should have set it because it's not blending. See, I put it down there and all of the eyeshadows there. Okay, I'm going to set the other eye and see if that's better. I'm not redoing anything though. Sorry, I don't have time for this. I don't want to look at myself any longer. <laughs> The concealer under this eye is creasing like really badly. Okay, all right. Let's try and fix this. Okay, yeah, no, this one's even worse. This one at least like blends. I don't want to look at myself anymore. I'm just going to finish. Um, I'm going to grab the loose pigment powder on this big fluffy brush. This is the shade Bling, by the way, if anyone's wondering. If anyone wants to recreate this look. Oh my gosh. The sad part is that like this is the most successful part of the look so far. Oh no. Like the color is really vibrant and nice and stands out a lot. It's just I put it on really messy and that's entirely my own fault. I'm gonna try to add more of the brown around it to try and blend it out. But of course, this eye is not blending, so I don't know. <laughs> oh no, okay, alright, okay, 
this video might just be cancelled because I'm gonna take a smaller brush this time. I'm going to go on the other eye. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better. Frick frack diddly dack. Son of a gun. I don't want to look at myself anymore. I don't want to look at myself anymore. I'm gonna finish this look up and mm. I'm just gonna use liquid eyeliner and try and hurry this up. I'm gonna do this off camera really quick. So I just did eyeliner and mascara off camera real quick. Um, honestly, there, there are very few things that eyeliner can't fix. This is one of them. It definitely helped a whole lot. It pulled it together a ton, but can't save it. There's no saving this. Um, my camera's about to die. I'm trying real hard to open this lipstick. Puff lippy. And this is the last thing I need to do. So let's try and... I'm so confused. How does this work? Okay. See, because I'm rushing to finish this before the camera dies. But this, the lips, I take everything back. The lipstick is the most successful part of this look. That's a really pretty color, and it feels really nice. So I'm just gonna wrap this up now. You guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I don't blame you if you don't. Um, but if you did and if you want to see more videos, hopefully of higher quality, because I swear, I promise they're not all this bad. If you want to see some better ones coming up, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Take all of this off my face.